Okay, good morning. It's a great weekend, and let's talk about performance capabilities of the iGrid Evo indicator and automation, whether you're trading one of the CBOTs on CTrader, whether you're trading one of the EAs on MT4, MT5, or if you're trading the iGrid Evo Auto version 1 for NT8. We already have a version 2 in build that I hope to deploy this week ahead for a group where we're going to add all kinds of features including a clustered trail stop, a smart stop, over and above the current stop options and other good stuff. You know, where you can pick what days a week you want it to run, not run. We already have time uh, periods you can set, time window set, and you know max profit for the day, max loss. We already have all that typical stuff, but we have a lot of additional good stuff. But let's talk about performance data. Now this weekend, I have a wide range of new training that I'm really happy about that I'm putting out uh, on optimization data that I'm finding that I've been working on for many, many days and some training on avenues to go down now that I've reviewed that data that other people uh, can look at. So trading to me and running automation is like a cave of gold. So I can go into that cave with my pickaxe and, you know, I can have a general idea where there might be some gold in that cave, but that cave's big. You know, we're talking markets, many instruments, many time frames, and so on and so on. FX, futures, crypto. And I can pick away and I can start finding gold. What the optimization data does is it's kind of walks into the cave and it starts beaming out sonars and infrared and you know, this and that and sound waves. And it goes, ooh, there's some detections over here and ooh, there's some detections. So it can start highlighting areas in the cave where you take that little pick and you start pick, 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 pick. And then, oh, you see a little shiny nugget of gold. And then on occasion, you're going to hit some big gold. That's what optimization is optimization is going into the cave and picking at the rock we're seeing evidence that there's nuggets of gold and i'm already trading igrid evo for my institutional side stuff so i know how effective it is there now we've translated it over to these retail platforms for use on prop accounts and uh, I'm finding some really big nuggets of gold that I'm going to be passing on to the group. And we have others finding nuggets of gold. So here's my private Discord room where I go by the name of Grid Elgo. This is a, a private prop trading room. Only members of either the C Trader, the NT8, the Trading View, or the MT4, MT5 program get access to. Uh, it's basically, you know, where we interact and share data and, and related. Uh, this is a prop trading, uh, basically, I guess you could say, eccentric or focused uh, Discord room where I have many rooms related to C Trader training, optimization, uh, NT8, you know, <laughs> training, optimization, and trading view, and MT4, MT5, and so on. Now, I like to be private and protect people's identities, whether it's stuff I posted or other posted, but. Then, you know, right away when I put it out, you know, those that know how to do optimizing were already starting to find their, those nuggets of gold uh, and giving me feedback to help me know what to add to quickly come out, you know, within about two weeks of the initial launch, it'll be roughly I have a version two with a whole bunch of features ads that align. And, you know, we, I already have guys using the tools on Markers Plus, Bloodhound and other things. Uh, to facilitate doing their own stuff over and above the automated, uh, you know, we give the indicator and the automation strategy uh, included with the one-time buy. So this is just a sampling of the type of performance. Now we we have a really good group uh, in the room sharing uh, information on across all platforms. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm really happy the direction everything is going. And I think we're going to go into a turbo boost mode with the data that I'll be dropping in the new training over the weekend. So I love the interaction. I'm really looking forward to what we're going to build from this, uh, working on some great uh, 
you know, ramping up of the overall optimization because you got to realize I like trading on Renko's, but now I'm finding good data on tick charts, volume charts, time base. Got guys trading on 30 second charts. I know a guy trading on 40 seconds, 47 second charts. I know some guys doing swing trading in gold, guys trading crypto, guys trading stock listings and related, like on the uh, FX or C Trader platforms through FX brokers and CFDs. So we have a lot of great stuff hitting and more to come. So we're polishing things up, already updating the fully automated system across all platforms to include a wide range of features. And uh, so I'm kind of addressing the type of questions I'm getting in emails that are fantastic as, you know, what are the capabilities? So let me give you some background on the iGrid Evo and what I needed it to do for what I wanted to use it for and that'll give you some indication as to why this indicator is in a different realm of any other indicator that's out there right now uh, in the FX futures or crypto space. So when I build something for the institutional side, I want it to be able to do on kind of nasty FX pairs or instruments that are a pain in the ass to trade. You know, if we can get in the low to mid 60% win to loss ratio, and on the average of all closed out trades being the 2.7 to 3 to 1 reward to risk, that's something I'm willing to use. Then as we get into the low 70 to mid 70s win to loss ratio and getting 3, uh, 3.0 and above reward to risk on the totality of all closed out, uh, closed out trades, now I'm on to stuff that's you know very powerful to get the seven, eight, nine percent monthly returns uh, that we can get on the institutional side. And I think our best month ever was May of, uh, what was it not 2023? Maybe it was, we had one month, we did 19.2% while trading for an institutional customer. That was kind of a mind boggling month, but, uh, and uh, yeah, just everything was hit and weary. And, and, you know, obviously on FX we're trading some higher time frame. So all of our intraday, you know, a lot of closed out daily P and L hits were racking and stacking, but we had some we had some big hard running, you know, currency pairs that were in moves that were we were in trades three, you know, two and a half, three, four weeks, and we were trading dynamically. So when we get a signal, we would get long. And as long as our trend bias mechanism told us to stay long we were adding to the position until its conclusion point. And at the conclusion point, our primary, uh, I guess you could say our primary uh, trend bias entry came out and our ad entries came out. So when you're in trades that last three and four weeks, the, the victories you have in these trades are substantial and whatever goes on in choppy periods is nothing. It's like a sneeze in a hurricane, how it affects your P&L. Even if I have a ton of flips back and forth where I can hold my own, I get one or two good runs a month on a moderate to higher time frame. I'm deep in the money that month uh, in a you know, 12, 14, 16, 20 instrument portfolio. So, so it's the trading of dynamic positions that adds a lot of capability to your overall uh, potential on a monthly P&L trading with 10 to one leverage uh, is what we typically traded. So uh, very, very powerful monthly returns. Now the heavy lifter to create this uh, capability is the iGrid Evo indicator. It is unique. I have unique math in this part of the indicator. The, uh, the, the shift portion of the indicator that creates our trend bias. I have unique math in the Heikinachi number one that you don't see that controls the look. I have it set to transparent that, that looks at price, smooths it out with unique math, and then tells the shift portion of the indicator, bar close by bar close of, of the smooth Heikinachi where to position itself so the smooth portion is not reading direct price, so that's how we get two-dimensional smoothing uh, and so on. I'm even now in talks with somebody where 
we're going to build the capability to turn on optimization and have AI involved, where I say, okay, AI, look at a two Renko chart on the NQ and optimize within these parameters. And when you're done, go to a three Renko chart. When you're done, go to a four Renko chart. When you're done, go to a five Renko chart. When you're done, go to a six Renko chart and go all the way up to like a 33 Renko chart. And then keep doing that every 10 days so we can get rolling unending optimization data to account for uh, market shifts. And if every 10 days, not noticing big shifts, we'll move that to maybe every 21 days. So rolling optimization, which we, we do ourselves for institutional stuff, but it's all you know done manually. But with cloud-based servers and some of these uh, more introductory and advanced level institutional platforms that now have some AI capability, we can do some mind-boggling effective uh, optimization going forward and say, hey, look at tick charts now. Hey, go look at uh, volume bars. Hey, go look at time-based charts on this instrument, on that, and really start compiling and finding all the gold in the cave. Okay, so now let's look at the logic of the iGrid Evo. So what are we doing? You don't have to use the ads uh, in, in your trading. In the automated, you can, you can just set position size to zero or toggle that off. You can just trade the flips to flips. So the, the overall concept of the system is to get in and play directional on a momentum flip from downside momentum to upside momentum. When we have qualified ad points, uh, those will be those are standalone uh, alert activities, and if they're not already added in the indicator, we're adding that. We have a lot of stuff uh, going to version two this week with tons of upgrades, and then the automation will stay in that trade till it hits uh, fixed uh, targets or hits a stop, or until you get a flip, and then on the flip, all those entries come out. Now we're playing the short side. We have qualified ads. We add another qualified ad and at the flip those positions come out and then when the market runs we get back long and again we don't have to do the ads we can just do static trading or we're, we're trading the flip to flip point now what i'm setting up for for automation on nt for myself is to go attack my prop accounts and just go after about 700 to 750 a day on the on the uh, MNQs for 150k account and be done, and then on the 300k accounts, might use NQs, might just use MNQs. Just go in and get 1100 to 1200 day, be done. Like go in, kick the door down, like a you know special operations team, neutralize the target, get out, go drink cold beers. That's the mentality. So we have minimized market exposure, and we get in and get out. Well, here was a long. The qualified ads up to four after the original entry, and then the out point. So very good trade there. Then we're short, some qualified ads, and then the, the out point, decent trade. Then we're long, one qualified ad, then we're out. Slight winner there between the two positions, very slight. And then we're short, and then we come into the end of the day, and market's chopping around, and you really want to be in trades past about... 2 p.m. in the afternoon, so you had an original flip entry, a couple ads, and you had numerous areas where you could have just said, okay, it's a Friday, it's the end of the day, I'm out of here, and uh, we'll call that good. And a lot of questions, do I got to use Renko? No. Time, you can use time-based charts. Here's a tick chart, 177 tick chart. I've been looking at 177, 233, 277, 333, 377, triple nickel, 777, 888, and, and on and on. I can get the iGrid as an indicator to dial in about whatever bar and time frame you can throw at me. Uh, and I, I can even optimize stuff down in 30 second charts for crying out loud on a lot of instruments. And then I got guys sending me settings on their swing trading on gold. That's just been, uh, they've had a profound increase in, in performance. I love when these guys send me these emails and say, hey, look at these settings on gold. What do you think? A nice short action, beautiful long. Nice short action, decent little long, a flip short, a flip back to long, little loss, few ads, not a big deal, then boom, you hit a long trade. 
Then you have a one entry in and a flip back to long, kind of a scratch, then back to long side. So for details, info at gerdalgo.com. You guys have a great weekend.